No, never. Lord, you me tell a girl, girl flip so time to have sex. So long time you have the road boy, you have sweet. Hey Bo, I'm a Swedish subscriber, so my English will be a mess, but I would like to remain anonymous. I'm 21 years old, and I broke up with my ex about 8 months ago. We were together for about 5 years, and he was my best friend, but I'm so over him. I have not seen him since the day we broke up, but we stayed in contact until about 3 months ago. Now, my problem is that I met this guy at my cousin's graduation party. I knew him from before, but we were not friends or hanging out. He was really feeling me at the party, despite the fact that he is best friends with my two guy cousins. Now, one of them doesn't have a problem with us talking, the other one is not feeling it. But he, but the dude didn't have the talk with him, the cousin with the problem, before even asking for my number or when he started hitting on me. I should mention he is white, never been there. <laughs> But my question is, will this be a mess and am I moving on too quick for my ex? This white boy really likes me and I'm just kind of turned off by the fact that he didn't talk to my cousin before hitting on me. I was going to talk to my cousin, but he told me I was exaggerating. And I'm big on respect. Thanks, I gave you like... 10% of the story, but I think you'll get my point. By the way, I have not fucked him, but I kind of want to. Does he have a big... Wait. So... Oh, I think she... Wait, what? Do he has a big dick? Uh, girl, I don't know if he have a big dick, but you... Should I wait? Okay, uh... Um... Okay, so your cousin's... I guess it depends on how close you and your cousins are, but like your cousins aren't your brother, so it's not like it's your brother's best friend and he's trying to holler at his little sister or something like that, so I think that's more where the cousin, I mean where the friend would need to talk to somebody, but if you personally want him to have a conversation with your cousin, then that is you know, that's you, that's on you, but it doesn't make sense to me. I mean, y'all is grown, like, as long, you guys are grown, you guys can do your own thing. He's not your daddy, like, you don't need permission to talk to somebody, somebody doesn't need permission to talk to you, like, why? Your cousins aren't trying to date you, so why does your their friend need to ask permission to talk to you? Like, it just doesn't make sense. And as far as having sex with him, I think you should wait that out. Um... Y'all know how what I say on this channel, but you're old enough, I guess. Like, you can make your own decision about what you want to do with your vagina. That ain't none of my business. But I think because you just got out of a relationship, even though it's been eight months, I think you should just wait to see where this thing is going with this white boy before you actually decide to have sex with him. And yeah, see where it goes from there. Like, don't rush into anything because you know you may just be rebounding right now and are not aware of it sometimes we rebound and don't know we rebounding so take it slow take it slow this time was too Take it slow. All right. Hey, Bo girl. How you doing, girl? I really love your videos. I would like to stay anonymous if that's okay. What if it's not okay? Like, why y'all always want to be anonymous? It's okay. I'm just being extra. But I'm kind of in a dilemma because I have no idea how to handle me and my best friend's relationship right now. I've been going through a lot right now with my family and boys and just dumb teen shit. And because she is my best friend, she can tell when I'm sad and I try to talk to her about it. But when I do, she tries to play it down by saying that's it. 
you're that bothered and she will do things that make me mad and she knows that it makes me really upset and she has told me before that she low-key likes seeing me get worked up and I don't know if it's just me overreacting about things or the fact that she has no feelings yes I actually mean that she has no feelings I've never seen her cry or get upset over things I've only seen her get happy or mad and I'm always there for her when she gets mad and wants to fight someone. I'll always talk her through it or if she has boy troubles. But I don't know if that's just the Jamaican in her. <laughs> or that she's low-key a sociopath. But I still love her. And I want her to be my best friend. We've been together since the third grade and we are about to go to high school. And I just want to have what we had in the past. What should I do? I mean, you can't force somebody to be emotional for you. Like, if she's not doing it on her own, if she's not being emotional, there's not really anything you can do about it. That's not her job. Like, I totally get, like, she's not sympathetic, she's not empathetic. Um, and sometimes you do need somebody to be, you know, comforting for you, but there must be a reason why she's not. Like, it can't just be because she's Jamaican. <laughs> you gotta find somebody else to, like, you don't have to break up with her, break up. You don't have to, like, end your friendship with her or anything, but I think you should find somebody else that you can talk to because she's clearly not it. Like, she's just not it. Like, I'm not gonna sugarcoat this. She ain't it. If she's not gonna be as emotional as you need her to be or if she's, like, brushing your situations off and downplaying them, that's not fair when as a best friend, even if you don't agree, you're supposed to agree. Like, if Paris is to come to me and tell me her nigga tripping and blah, blah, I'll be like, bitch, where he at? Like, let's go get him. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to, like, brush it under the rug and be like, bitch, you're overreacting. Unless she is overreacting. But when it comes to best friends, I think that the relationship, just like boyfriend-girlfriend, it should be equal effort. And if she's not delivering you know how you need her to then you gotta get somebody else that you can confide in because she ain't it y'all can do the fun stuff while you and your um new person that you gonna find to confide in do all the sad stuff and the crying and shit you know when necessary you can't really force anybody to show sympathy or be empathetic she may be a sociopath we don't know that though so we're not gonna say that <laughs> Hey girl, so I decided I'm gonna drop this nigga. Mmm, tragic. I'll be right if I felt bold as fuck and sent the video to him. LMAO. Girl, this is an update, but I don't remember the situation. Let me see. We had a whole conversation about it, and basically he's not seeing how it's unfair to me, therefore it's a dub. It sucks because it is what it is. I look at it like everything happens for a reason. So anyways, let me tell you. This boy I was talking to a while ago, aka the love of my life, dead ass, my fucking mind twin, refollowed me on Instagram. We stopped talking because I finally got him to confess to having hoes. I've been hurt so bad by people before which is another reason we connected since apparently the same has happened to him but when he confessed to it it hurt me so bad I like I said I've been there before so I knew better and cut it off there I even deleted our thread of messages which I never do but with him refollowing me I see he cuffs one of the hoes which burned like a bitch to see my friend and I were talking about it and she convinced that he followed me out of the blue for a reason he had only three things on his Instagram of her and like I said we think just alike he's like some of my pics which leads me to believe that he is trying to reach out to me when I accepted him of course I like those fucking three pics and that is it since I'm so damn petty but I really don't know how I should take this I would love for us to work out but my pride and petty too strong 
I learned from my past mistakes, which is why I don't allow any infidelity, even during this talking stage. To me, if you can do that, I have so much respect for you. It tells me you can be loyal. I don't think that's too much to ask. I refuse to become who hurt me. What would you do or think in this situation? I don't even understand the situation. The fuck? I mean, he must, like... If he's in a whole relationship, like, why are you even thinking or considering it? Like, who, like no, I would unfollow that ass. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Like, I'm, I, like, what did you just email me? Because... <laughs> What? Mm -mm. I would unfollow that as he serves no purpose in your life. If he cuffed one of these hoes, like why he even trying to follow you? Did he want you to see? Did he want you to get jealous or something? Like, no, unfollow him and move the fuck on. Like, you know I ain't here for the fuckery. Like, come on now. Okay, this one's messy, huh? I know. I'm just filming, I'm not editing. Hey Bo, I absolutely love your channel. You're really my best friend in my head. So, I have sort of a dilemma. I'm 19 years old and me and my ex-boyfriend dated for two years. Things with us were pretty much perfect and I honestly saw myself marrying him one day. In November of last year, I got a job at a warehouse and there's no end here. I don't know why I just said end. I got a job at a warehouse to have something to do before I sh shipped off for basic training. Now, a lot of people work at this warehouse. A lot of people means a lot of ain't shit niggas. I say that to say I got hit on a lot. <laughs> I didn't realize how cute I was until I started working here, lol. <laughs> there was only one guy I was really interested in though. Let's call him Drake, lol. But I was a faithful girlfriend, so I didn't pursue it. Me and my boyfriend ended up breaking up on New Year's, so me and Drake started chilling. Girl, this was all a part of your elaborate scheme. Don't play. He took my virginity and everything, so I wanted to experience sex with another person. I really just wanted Drake to fuck me and never talk to me again. I can't deal. <laughs> She said, judge me, I don't care, I'm young and horny. Oh my gosh, I'm over you, like over you. I thought he would be your average fuckboy, which is why I took his application into consideration. You are out of fucking control, like realistically, I, I just can't. <laughs> we ended up having sex, but he wanted more from me. Long story short, we ended up dating. We have been since November. He's honestly my best friend. I really do love him. Now, here's the issue. He's bummy as fuck. <laughs> he don't have a job, no car. He lives with his mom, no credit. He literally just got his own bank account. Oh, my God, like, everything is wrong with him. I can't. <laughs> mm, okay. He quit his job when I left for basic, but the military didn't end up working out so I came home and we were both unemployed as fuck I got a job though so I'm kind of taking care of him no 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 never which I'm not used to because my ex spoiled the fuck out of me I know that if he had it he would spoil me Cause when he does have money, he gives it to me. But keep in mind, he's 24 years old, Bo. Another thing, I can't even feel his penis inside of me. Girl, but but why didn't you, but if you couldn't feel his penis from before, why did you start dating him? Like, I can't. I love aggressive sex. That's just my preference. I told him that and he got upset and told me that's not what he's into. So I've been cheating on him. I've been cheating on him like hell with my ex-boyfriend who definitely gives me what I want and some other people. Hello, girl, you is just slutting it up like really? 
I can see myself just buying a good vibrator <clears throat> and spending the rest of my life with him lol okay well if you are going to buy a vibrator make sure you go to adamandeve.com and use the code Bo, I think the code is Bo, B-O-E. If it's not, I don't know. Go check out that video. I'll link it in the description box below and get you 50% off of your order, okay? Good vibrators on that site, okay? Let's see, let's see. I just wish he was willing to compromise. What do I do, man? He's actually changed for me. He's not who he was before I met him. I don't know what to do, lol. I also live for Shooter's in, but so I love to hear what he has to say, lol. Well, Shooter ain't here right now. Shooter just went to bed because he is 4.24 a.m. Now, let me just take a drink before I acknowledge this fuckery. Bitch. First of all, first of all, <clears throat> do not take care of any nigga that you are not married to. If you are not married to him, he does not need to be, you're not his mother, you're not his father, you do not need to be taking care of any grown ass man. If the man is grown, he better get his life, get a job, okay, get this money, like, he needs to be taking care of himself. You don't need to be taking care of him. What happened to the job? Like, you, you kind of skipped over that part. Like, why are both you guys unemployed at this point? Like, I get it. You went to the military to do your training or whatever. But what about him? Why, why is he no longer employed at this place that y'all met at? Like, what's good? And, I mean, 24 is kind of in my personal opinion for a man I feel like that is kind of old to be living with your mother like if I was his mom I would have been like get out of my Caucasian house like you better get out like <laughs> no my kids are not living with me till 24 I'm joking my babies will, will live with me until they're ready to go but like what is he doing to better his life like is he taking if he's taking the steps to become a, a become an adult because you know men take a little longer to mature okay they do so if he's taking the steps to become an adult like if he's actively looking for work or actively you know getting ready to go to school or something then okay we won't be too hard on him if he's not and he's comfortable staying in his mama's house you need to leave that nigga like if he's comfortable not having money if he's comfortable with you taking care of him if he doesn't find anything wrong with that then you know no bueno but if he's not comfortable with those things and you can see that he's you know putting in the work to make a change then you shouldn't be too harsh on him the whole dick thing you can't feel inside you with I, <laughs> no <laughs> That's definitely a no-go. You can't do that. Um, but you should have known that before if y'all had sex before you started dating. So I really don't have advice for you on that. It sucks. But, I mean, if if you can't pick... First of all, break up. What am I even saying? Like, break up with this man. Like, one, you're already cheating on him. So... You've already, like, you already stepped out on the relationship. You said, with your ex and other niggas. So, like, you're already in the wrong here. I'm not going to be like, yes, bitch, cheat on your nigga. Like, no, that's not me. So, I'm not going to encourage that behavior. Um, but what I will say is that you definitely need to just end it. Call it off because you've already done the worst that you could possibly do. Like... You didn't cheat once and like feel bad about it. You 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 cheating like you're actively cheating. So you should probably not do that. <laughs> or you could like get back with your ex. Like I don't really know what you want to do with that situation, but as far as this nigga goes, you need to let him go because you're just he doesn't know, but you're hurting him right now. And if you were to find out, he would be hurt. And bitch, he might try to kill you. You know how niggas be when they find out you done cheated on them. They want to kill people. So, <laughs> you might want to give Drizzy Drake... Um, you want to, you might want to let go of Drizzy Drake one time. And call it a day. Call it love. Like, I feel bad for him. I honestly do. 
Okay, so this is an update. Remember Lily, guys? Remember Lily messaged us or messaged us? Lily gave us an email uh, in the last Botox and I answered her question. So she is updating us. She said, hey, Bo, how are you? I recently... You recently read my email in the last Botox and told me I should leave my drug dealing boyfriend and that I am too young to deal with problems like this. I'm currently still dating him because he promised to turn over a new leaf. He now only sells weed. And he stopped going to the trap house. He probably is lying. Okay, he recently proposed, girl, <laughs> he recently proposed to me and I said yes, but now I'm starting to think I should have said no because his attitude is changing. He's becoming more overprotective and wants to watch my every move. I love him, I really do, but I don't know if our marriage will work out. He doesn't let me be in the same room as a male unless they are family. I can't have any male friends if he questions me so, and he questions me so much. I'm really starting to think he's just marrying me to trap me and to keep me away from talking to other guys. Relationship is good, but sometimes he can go hours without talking to me, sometimes even days. I could text him at 9 a.m. and he will not text me until 5 p.m. Or I can text him at 2 p.m. and he wouldn't text me back until 1 a.m. I'm starting to get suspicious because we haven't seen each other in a while. I know there's a lot of stuff for you to talk about, but I really need help before I make the wrong decision. I love you, Intruder, and I hope our relationship can get just like you guys. It won't get like ours. Like, it won't. <laughs> so don't want it to. Like, it really can't. Like, <sighs> if in the last Botox, I said or I suggested that you leave this nigga let me put it to you like this okay cause fuck the last video like fuck it if you are a girl hell if you was a boy doesn't matter I don't care what your sex is like <laughs> if you are emailing me about your relationship problems you're not ready to be married, okay? Not one single married woman has sent me an email because married people and people that are engaged don't really look for advice or are at a different maturity level. Like, you're clearly not ready to be engaged. Like, you jumped the gun, you said yes. Guess what, boo-boo? An engagement is not a marriage. You did not sign any papers. I don't know if he gave you a ring or not. Rings are returnable. You do not have to go and follow through with the wet with the marriage. Like you can give the ring back and call the engagement and leave this nigga still. Like you're not trapped. You don't have to go through with this. Clearly, you're feeling stuck because you just said that. Like there's no point in forcing this. Like <laughs> I can't stress this enough. Do these ponytails look forced to you? I don't think so. Like. No, so don't force these crooked ass relationships. Like, if this nigga is dealing drugs right now and now he's only switched to weed, like, he's a lying ass nigga. Like, fuck that shit. Like, no, he's not only dealing weed, he is still going to the trap. Like, what? why did he propose to you? Why all of a sudden would he just propose to you? Like, <sighs> niggas always have an ulterior motive. Like, I don't even care. They do. It is what it is, but you can't, you're not ready, okay? I'm telling you right now, you're not ready. I don't, you don't have to take this advice. You don't have to do anything with this advice. You could watch this, roll your eyes, be mad, but I'm keeping it all the way real with you, and I can tell by what you just emailed me that you're not ready to be married. You're not ready to be in a committed relationship like this and you're not ready for your husband or your fiance to be able to control you because yeah when it comes to a marriage there are certain boundaries and rules that need to be followed sometimes every marriage is different I don't necessarily think that 
your fiance is wanting to keep you away from these guys or any men that are not a part of your family out of respect for him I think it's actually a controlling thing and so that is something you want to stay clear of that is not somebody you want to marry you don't want to marry somebody that is controlling like that's not healthy controlling and respect is two totally different things like he's not it's not it just doesn't make sense like it, it really doesn't I'm not even gonna like try to make it make sense because it just fucking doesn't make sense you know what you need to do with this relationship like honest to god there are no married women emailing me about their husband there are no females emailing me about their fiance like it's always boyfriend boyfriend girlfriend girlfriend best friend whatever like it's never been anything more than that and so if you're at an age where you feel it necessary to email me about your relationship you're not ready like at this level like if you're engaged to somebody or if somebody proposed to you and you're feeling like you should like you feel like you did the wrong thing by saying yes like you're not ready like you're definitely not in any position to be engaged and if I recall from the last email you are mad young and he's way older than you let me yeah you're 16 years old what 16 year old in 2016 would be engaged like this is not an arranged marriage you're not from a foreign country like you know it, it, no like no the nigga is four years older than you this nigga ain't even ready to be fucking married like I don't know what scheme or game he trying to pull but you need to get all the way out like if you're follow your gut like don't even listen to me like I have nothing to do with anything don't listen to me follow your instinct and you just said that your instinct is telling you that you were doing the wrong thing so follow that like fuck what I'm saying like just do what you feel okay do what you feel is right do what you feel is right let me correct that not do what you feel do what you feel is the right thing to do my name is Adri firstly I love watching you and shooter alright let's get into my problem I have been in a long distance relationship for two going on three years soon and I live in Texas and he lives in Georgia, a couple states over. I feel like it's about time we get to thinking about getting more serious but first we must meet in person, oh god, a lot of times <laughs> and get to know each other. Only problem is both of us want one another to come where they are so we end up arguing about it. Hell, it's, he'll say it's easier for me to go there, but I'm 19, going to be 20 in August, and he is 28. I know what you're thinking. Eight years different. But we love each other, but to the point. I live with my parents, and he lives on his own. I have traveled alone before, but I don't know what to tell my parents, and if it is even best for me to go there or him to come here. He is low-key scared of flying. I want us to get closer because seeing each other in person is the next step in our relationship. I want him to come here because I feel it's best, but he tells me I need to put my big girl panties on because I'm 19 and not 10 and just come there. Can you give me advice on this? Should I take a chance and fly there? If so, what should I tell my parents? Or how should I go about the situation? I hope you read this. And sorry for the longest message again. Love you. Okay, so even though you said, like, what you said about the age difference, like, in my personal opinion, the man is 28. You are fresh 19. Like, in those situations, I always look to the man first. And I'm just like, okay, what is going on in your life that you are looking at a 19-year-old girl? Because in when I was 19 I still felt like a baby and I don't know if you feel like a baby or if you feel like you know but I personally find that age too old to be looking at 19 year olds like he should be looking at women his age women that are 25 you know 25 and up even like a 23 year old you know like maybe 24 23 not so much but like somebody 
in their 20s like to me I feel like you still have a lot to do and like a 30 year old man is probably more ready to settle down and that's why he's gung-ho on getting you to come to his date but like it shouldn't even be an argument like in my personal opinion because he lives on his own yeah you should be the one traveling there unless you do want him to meet your parents but like if I were you in the situation I would tell my parents or my mom and let her know like I want to go to meet this man she would probably tell me fuck no okay <laughs> but I mean moms are usually right so maybe she can go with you and stay in a hotel make sure you're safe it's scary to travel by yourself and meet somebody you never met before even though you've built a relationship with him online I mean he could be a fucking serial murderer like you never know it's hard to meet somebody online and take your relationship to the next level granted I do know how many couples do I know well I know one couple my sister is actually like online dating like she met her you know bitch two of my sisters I met they matches online bitch that's scary for me I couldn't I really couldn't I don't know if y'all met online but if you guys never met in person then where else did you guys meet but um my sister met her husband online years ago she was 19 he's a couple years older than her and she definitely didn't tell anybody she ran off um to the united states when she was young to meet her man in person who she'd be talking to how she'd been talking to online and she left my mother a note in the middle of the night not a good idea don't do that don't go that route uh, my mom was very hurt by the whole situation but in the like long term the relationship did work out I mean they're still together to this day and my sister is like in her 30s so the relationship has definitely stood and they have kids and stuff and you know Online relationships are definitely the wave right now, so I'm not going to down the down the online relationship, but what I will say is that it is a very scary thing to do, and you need to, you can't go alone, like, you have to have somebody come down with you and be close by, and you know, or if you are going to go by yourself, you need to, prov you can't just go, you, can you literally can't just go because so anything can happen to you, and so you need to know his address and everything where you're going to be staying and you need to send that information or give that information to your parents or your mom if she's down to let you go but that is a scary thing to do and i don't at your age i do not suggest you do that alone and i don't suggest that you do it hell at all but it is your life and if that is somebody you're in love with and you want to meet them then you know you know, if you guys are taking your relationship to the next level anyway, why wouldn't he want to meet your parents? You're going to have to meet them eventually, so I think that would be cool if you came, stayed at your house, met your parents, you know, did the damn thing, and then went back to his little house, and then next time you can go to him. But it shouldn't be an argument. If both you guys are putting in effort to see each other, or if you want to see each other, it should not be an argument. Also, if he didn't pay for that plane ticket for you to fly out to Georgia or at wherever wherever state he is I don't know if you in Georgia or he in Georgia whatever um but if he's not paying for that ticket boo don't go nowhere because the fuck like no no hopefully that helps but you definitely should not do that alone okay this is gonna be the last one and then I gotta go to bed like I'm tired hey gorgeous lol okay so I have this cousin and I say she lives with me and my mother for most of my life and we used to be close and in the last couple of years I've hated this bitch with a passion Bo, let me tell you the nasty shit she does she takes my underwear yes my underwear like who does that the ones I've had on my ass for a full day so one day I took my dirty ones off my ass and <laughs> why you say off my ass <laughs> and put them in the drawer lol petty I know and yes the dirty bitch took them like she has a job 
and can and can't buy her own Victoria's Secrets. I've tried talking to her and asking her why, and my mom has tried to talk to her also. It's not even my underwear, like it's things that I spend my coin on. The fuck? So the question is, should I try my hardest to talk to her one last time, or should I be her ass? P.S. She tried to pull put the underwear back, but I throw them in the garbage because that's ew. Like. <laughs> Ew, what? Who d I have no words. I have no words because you don't be stealing underwear like okay. She need Jesus. But there's not really it you just need a lock on your door. Like there's no nothing else to really do you put a lock on your door get a lock like go buy a lock from like home depot or whatever change the door thing and get a key for your yourself and your mom or yourself and put this behind the spare somewhere and that's how you solve the problem if y'all share a room that's a whole other story but like for somebody to take your dirty panties like what is she weird like what are you doing with my panties and then have the audacity to put them back. Like, is she just sniffing them? Like, she can't be wearing them. Like, that is nasty. Like, <laughs> I can't. These bitches are trifling. Like, that is actually trifling. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, that's, that's not cool. I wouldn't even say anything to her. I would just get a lock on my door and she should get the message that way. If she still manages to take your underwear, then yeah, beat her ass. Like, I'm sorry. I don't really condone violence, but like, beat that ass. Like, you're not going to steal my underwear, wear them, and then give them back unwashed. You're nasty. Like, <laughs> you're gross. You're trifling. You're, you need Jesus. I just can't. Like, <laughs> no. Never not. No. Hey girl, I've been talking to this guy that I like very much. He's a very attractive and I I would literally walk through hell with him and more. But I think it's more of a one-sided relationship. I always try to have a nice clean combo with him, but he just wants to have sex. I don't really want to do anything right now, but he really wants me to. Should I just do it or keep my V card? Do you have to have sex to have a healthy relationship? abstinence is key okay any man that is pressuring you to have sex is not the one you want to give it to like he should not be pressuring you to do anything if you simply say you're not ready you're not ready so don't be giving it to him if you're not ready because he's clearly not the one I can tell you right now he ain't the one honey like no, he's obviously, if you can't even talk to him, why are you considering giving him your goodies? My goodies, my goodies, my goodies, not my goodies. Like, why? How? Where does that make sense? Where do they do that at? That is not cool. If you can't even have a real ass conversation with this man, why would you even think to give him what he wants from you? Like, he's not giving you what you want from him, so why are you giving... Battery's dying, so this is definitely... If he is not able to offer you intellect, honey, or what you need from him, then there's no need to give him what he wants from you. That is not fair. That is not a relationship. Relationships are not just about sex, and if you can't have a relationship without the sex aspect, then you don't even have a relationship. Yes, sex is great. In some relationships, sex is a big factor, but it shouldn't be because relationships are definitely coming from within and I tell you guys all the time sex is not just a physical thing it definitely is something that has to do with your soul but in this case it sounds like it's a physical thing because he's pressuring you to do it he wants to get his dick wet he wants to put it in your warm pussy and he wants to enjoy that and you're not gonna give that to him because he doesn't deserve it and you should not be willing <laughs> If it, the fact that it's the fact that you know it's a one-sided relationship is kind of it bothers me because if you know that then why 
are you even asking me this? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you need to value yourself a lot more. And this goes for men and women alike. Like, if you're a guy and you're talking to a girl and you're trying to have deep conversation with her and she's just trying to get your little balls and your dick, like, <laughs> um, you need to reevaluate that girl. Like, it doesn't make sense. So I think you need to do a little bit of work on yourself. I think you need to search for that self-worth and, 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 you know, you shouldn't be questioning this. Like, you said, should I just do it? Bitch, this ain't Nike. Like, no, there's no just do it. Like, you said, should I just do it or keep my V card? Do you have to have sex to have a healthy relationship? Definitely not and i think a healthy relationship the the most important thing in relationships are trust communication and loyalty that are those are the three keys into having a healthy relationship sex is just a fucking bonus like it's just a plus like you know what i mean it's not necessary it doesn't make or break your relationship because look at Perfect example, Sierra, Wil Sierra and Russell Wilson, they were celibate or doing, they were being celibate until their wedding night and I commend them both for that because that's hard to do, like that's not something that everybody can do, especially Russell being a man. Men do have that desire and that need for sex more than a woman per se, it depends on the person really, but when we think about men, we do think that men will fuck anything with two legs and a vagina, sometimes with no vagina, like, <laughs> no shade, no tea. But it is what it is. Um, I don't think this is the right guy, honey, but you're gonna do what you feel you're you you need to do i'm glad that you cared enough to ask me my opinion on the situation but don't fall into this trap like mm -mm. especially being that you're a virgin just wait it out girl like you don't have to do anything you're not ready to do and you didn't say i i, I kind of want to have sex with him or you know um i want to have sex with him but he's telling me to wait like you said that i think it's a one-sided relationship you always try to have nice clean conversations with him but he just wants to have sex or talk about sex like no wrong guy wrong time Anyway, you guys, I do love you all. This is going to be a very long Botox because I tried to get through a lot of these questions. Um, you know what I say every time I drop one of these. Please resend your emails if you didn't hear it. Um, I went up to 10 days ago. I read emails from up to 10 days ago. Some of them I did skip because of the either length or the type of question it was. I'm going to get back to them. I just marked them as unread. So... Um, I do love you all, Botox at gmail.com, I will have it in the description box, I will have it on the screen, so you guys can email me if you need some advice. Love yourself, take care of yourself, and stay away from these fuck niggas, I love you all, and I'll definitely see you in the next one.